Today I'm in the forest again. Right now I'm on my way to the Bagot camp and as you can see fall is here. So the leaves are falling down and everything is in bright colors, really beautiful. I think that fall is maybe yeah maybe my favorite season of the year besides summer you know. <laughs> but yeah it's really nice and today it's getting really cold in the night and it has rained the last couple of days. So everything is pretty much wet, but hey, no problem for me because today I'm going to sleep in the bug out camp. So stay tuned. There it is guys, the bug out camp. Okay, as you can see, we still have a construction site going on. So here I want to build a third lean-to shelter. Yeah, and today I have to get some poles for the bed, which is going to be here. And this is the existing camp, which has been here for five years now. Yeah, so I have torn down this wall and I will add more shelters. So this is not the only one. And yeah, pretty awesome. You can see a lot of leaves lying in here. So I have to clean them out before I light the fire. <laughs> yeah, I made it. Alright guys, so today I want to show you what I have with me for camping. So first of all, I have this bug out roll here by Canadian Prepper. And in here you will find a first aid kit, a shovel, a saw, cordage, hygiene stuff, you know. Things you need when you go camping. And then I also have with me today two water bottles. And this is the meat that I'm having today. It's organic turkey breast. Really awesome. And yeah, two lamps for the night. I forgot my headlamp by the way, so these have to do. And then I have this here. Now these here are two new products that I'm selling on my website. So this is the new diamond sharpening stone I have on my website. It comes with a 500 grit. And yeah, I really love these long sharpening stones. It makes it easy to sharpen a knife in convex grind. So that's the first product. The second product that I have on my website now is this here. This here is the new Apo One alcohol stove. So it comes with the stand here and you can put on a pan or something else, some kind of container. And then you put in your ethanol into the alcohol stove and then you can do some outdoor cooking in case you cannot make or you do not want to make a campfire. So this is for camping and hiking and for emergency cooking. Yeah guys, and these products you will find on my website. I will put a link into the description below. So if you want to pay my website a visit and support this channel, I would be very happy about it. Okay, now I have to take care of this bed that I want to build. I want to build one right here. And yeah, I have a couple of logs, but actually they are not enough, so I have to get more. Okay, there's a tree hanging in other trees. It's pretty dangerous actually. It's hanging on this other tree. And yeah, actually there are a lot of dead trees in here. This is dead, the other small one here is dead, so a lot of building wood right here. So 
saw my canvas built from dead lying wood or dead sanding wood just like the ones that you just saw I just want to emphasize this because a lot of people think that I'm cutting down green trees for my shelter which I did not so just want to make this thing clear but even if you build a shelter out of green wood I think it would be okay because here in Europe you know we have a very sustainable forestry system and trees grow back so um, yeah people use wood for all kinds of you know furniture floors and uh, the structure of building houses so I think wood is one of the most versatile resources that we have on the planet and I'm really thankful for it. Alright folks, so now I want to clean off the small twigs here or branches on this stem and if you have you can take a hatchet, it's pretty easy with it. So as you can see hatchets are a really great tool and you can remove these branches really easily but what if you don't have a hatchet you know maybe you're in the forest and you forgot it at home so you only have your small blade on you I just take it in the extended grip and use it like this it's working pretty good and this is actually my own design of a blade and I have designed the handle so that it comes out a little bit at the end and then you can take it very easily at the extended grip or with the extended grip and then you can use it with a lot of lever and this way you can remove branches pretty easily and if a branch is too thick you can always baton off the branch with your knife no problem so as you can see even without a hatchet, even with just a small blade or a bigger blade, you can easily remove branches from the stem here. So here you can see the handle of my self-designed knife and it's coming out of here. And this is going to give you a really good grip, extended grip on the blade, on the handle, okay. So if you're interested in this blade, make sure that you visit my website. The link is in the description below. Yes. It's really dark inside of the forest today. There are a lot of clouds above me. And I really do hope that it's not going to rain again today. Man, I really love this workout. It's better than going to the gym. I can call this wall finished now it's really high enough and yeah I need more logs for this wall for the longer one and also I need poles for the bed here we have a really straight spruce tree which is dead okay I just have to remove the other two logs and then I'm going to take this with me because this is perfect for the bed
okay now for the bed you can see it's pretty like it's not really horizontal here the ground it's more like this and yeah I somehow want to make a bed which is pretty much horizontal so I have to use a bigger log down here and a smaller one up here Actually, it's too short. I can take this for the wall. Really nice, but I need many more locks so. I'm probably gonna make a really big bed here, XXL, luxury bed. So now I could still keep building on this wall, but actually guys, it's getting dark. So I think I have about one hour of daylight left. I cannot say sunlight because I don't see a sun, so it's daylight. I now want to go and search for firewood because I don't have a lot of firewood anymore. However, I need a lot because the night is so long now in fall, so I need a whole lot of firewood. Let's go. Okay, I found my tree, guys. It's not this one here. This is a dead pine, but it's too thick. I want to fell this here, the beech tree. And beech is actually one of the best firewoods that you can get, so I'm trying to get this one. I will come back for the other part. Okay, it's starting to rain. So I quickly want to get the other piece of log. I have to switch on my lights, my camping lights. So here I have two and actually I've built them myself. Pretty easy. Pretty easy LED lantern. Completely waterproof. This is what you need outdoors. And I have a second one in a bottle form. It's still raining and everything is wet so I have to think about what I'm using for a tinder. Gladly last time I have collected some birch bark so this is dry. I can use it for the initial flame but also I would need some smaller tinder like fine twigs or really small wood like this here. Let's cut a little bit of a feather stick here. Okay, now for the birch bark, I'm taking my blade like this, okay, and I'm scraping the bark to make really, really, really fine paper thin shavings like these okay 
and yeah I need them to be really fluffy and then they are able to catch the spark of my fire steel. and I also take the bark and I rip it into pieces I try to get off the thin skin like the first layer which is the white one I make some strips like this first I'm going to light the tinder then I'm taking these really fine papery chips and then I'm going to take the bigger tinder and that's how I like to make fire when it's raining Let's take these logs as a base for the fire. Now let's add some bigger fuel. super awesome today it's raining the forest is so dark but hey I got my fire going and I feel super safe and wow that's a real experience in the forest you know really happy that I'm here today that I have my fire my shelter awesome nature is beautiful Okay, so I have to get the camera inside a little bit into the shelter and dry it off beside the fire. It's super warm in here, like today it had like 10 degrees Celsius when I started this trip and in here it has like 15 degrees Celsius right now but when the fire gets bigger it will have like 23 so it will be really cozy. I try to film like as if you were here. Okay, now it's time to chill out a little bit. Oh, this is a branch. <laughs> oh yes, guys. Oh, awesome. I'm trying to get dry and then I have to wait until the fire burns down and then I'm going to make myself a good meat. I heard a roe deer over there. It was running by the camp but I didn't see it because it's too dark. And yeah, the fire has burned down now. I still have to wait to get more coals. Then I can make my meat. And yeah, in the meantime, I have to dry my shoes because they have become wet. And yeah, actually I've forgotten to impregnate them. That's the reason why I have wet socks now. <laughs> Okay, now comes the turkey. Mm. 
Yummy. Okay. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my god, it's really nice meat. Look at this. Wow. This is some really nice and tender meat. Wow. It's raining, raining and raining pretty hard. But at least my fire is still, you know, strong. So I keep the fire going and this way I can dry out the sides of fire. The rain is really loud. It makes a lot of sound. So, so right now we have a pretty strong downpour. I've put some firewood onto the fire and around the fire and yeah, now I try to make the fire as big as possible and then I will take my sleeping bag, put it into here, leave down the plastic sheeting and then I will crawl inside into my small cave. fire is really hot now and yeah guys that's really the best way to fight the rain I'm getting too hot in the shelter now so I have to cool off outside pretty soon I'm going to get out my sleeping bag I'm tired already and yeah this winter time is so dark you know that's what I miss about summertime that you always have sunlight and only a short night but in winter time it's really dark like yeah the forest is beautiful you probably can't see it, but I can see like almost every tree around the shelter. That's my shelter for today. Super shelter style. And I always make sure that I have some breathing holes so it's not 100% airtight. The fire is out, only a few embers anymore going, and it's 11 p.m. <sighs> okay guys, I'm in my sleeping bag. As you can see, Woo! I'm really comfortable. But I have to make sure that I'm not falling out of the bed. It wouldn't be the first time though. So a couple of years ago I remember that I fell out of the bed and I woke up on the floor, which was not so nice. <laughs> yeah. So I have to admit that today I was a little bit uncomfortable with the rain. I was out of my comfort zone. I don't like getting wet feet and being cold, you know. However, I have to say I'm really happy that I still went camping today because it makes me appreciate modern life, civilized life so much more. So now I'm really happy when I get home tomorrow and have a proper bed and take a warm shower and yeah. So you know being outdoors it really sets your mind straight and if you have depressions or if you are just not satisfied with your life then maybe just go camping and after this camping trip you will feel like satisfaction when you come back home and then you will appreciate more what you have so this is really my way to cope with life and camping in the woods is really self therapy okay so that's it now I try to get some good night's sleep and yeah Stay with me and we see each other tomorrow morning. Good morning guys. Oh. 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 
I had a really good night's sleep and uh, I slept until now and now it's almost 8.30 so I slept more than 8 hours which was amazing and apparently I needed it so yeah I still want to stay in my sleeping bag because it's so cozy and warm okay so I have to get up soon though I really love my long johns they're awesome I'm going to leave the camp and yeah I have to say that the camp is really something special it looks so awesome in between the trees and yeah it's really something something special to me I'm so happy that it's still standing after five years unbelievable and yeah next time I'm going to finish this shelter here it's a lot of work to gather all of the materials. If you guys are interested, please make sure that you visit my website and also subscribe to my channel and put on the notifications for the videos because sometimes, you know, you don't get notified of my uploads because that's, yeah, I don't know, that's a bug that is coming from YouTube. So make sure that you turn on the notifications and if you don't see any videos, then just visit my channel and yeah that's about it for today i really want to thank you for watching lily out <laughs>